everyone welcome to today's video we shall learn how to customize text in notion and learn about different color names that notion recognizes so let's get started so the first method is to actually use color names that no notion recognizes so for instance it can be aqua marine blue then corn flower Blue. So these are just a couple of examples when it comes to blue that Notion recognizes. So let's just uh, try out maybe gold color. It can be golden rod. It can be teal. Then sky blue. Then orchid. Lavender. All right. These are a really nice set of examples to start with. So let's just uh, dive into how these actually look on Notion. So, so I slightly made a mistake with spelling. So make sure you don't make any spelling mistakes. Otherwise, your uh, code or your function equ in the equation won't work. So now let's try these color names into an equation along with a word so for that you need a word I'm going to use my default hello word and create an equation so I'm going to start from first and slash color if you want to leave space you can or if you don't want to you don't have to uh, as long as the entire equation is understandable by you well if you can understand the equation that you're good to go so now after an equation you always need to put in brackets now inside this bracket because it's just after the function called color you have to put in your color name so aqua marine there we go and you just hit done if you forget to hit done your equation if it is about five six lines of equation that you're like you know you're trying for the first time um, if you don't hit done your entire equation is just gone um, and it just go back to default which is like default text in notion so let's try a few more out and let's do it in the same line so because why not comma nice to meet you all right I'm going to take in all of these actually uh, and create an equation or maybe let's just be a slightly more playful and color code it actually because <laughs> why not create equation and um, slash color and again brackets because that's me let's do golden rod shall we gold golden rod right and hit done it's so much nicer you know having the choice to um, use color color names other than the default ones in notion because these are really pretty and fastly if you're into them these are like perfectly fine because I really like them really muted and will calm to the eye but sometimes you would really like to have more than um, the choice of the default ones right so let's try out two and create equation then color brackets and let's do orchid or orchid I don't know yeah it's really nice uh, light purple color which is really really nice um, it would be really nice if you have a blog in a notion and you want to put in a quote or something it's really nice really girly color I don't really know it's like it's a all kind of color you know so color and brackets and let's do cornflower blue did we do that I don't, I don't know okay cornflower blue there we go what did I do um, all right I think this is yeah very good 
it's a really nice shade of blue if you ask me all right so let's do a last one so that the color names are in the same sentence so let's just highlight that and let's do teal because that's really nice color color brackets teal there we go you would have noticed now that with or without space it doesn't really matter so yeah there we go it's like a nice really so now you can see that it's really nice to have multiple options and yeah these are just few names that I have typed on notion but there are more I leave all of them in the description so make sure to check that out and even if you want to you know go a little bit uh, crazy with your colors you can even do a pattern of like like let's be like a rainbow or something if you're into that so this is one uh, method on how you can actually use different colors other than the default colors that notion provides so the other method is to use hex codes in your equations like in case you want to use a hex code you can replace confla blue with the hex code of your choice so my favorite websites are it's not really favorite but i tend to use figma a lot i mean you can draw out you can bring out rectangles circle triangles whichever you prefer i mean it's you're just going to uh, take down uh, a color right so in case you want you know uh, let's let's do okay this one was really nice all right so let's go ahead and copy this control C go back to notion let's just type out uh, something hello again I'm so basic you guys all right so going back to the front using the color function because without which you wouldn't get any color let's be honest um, and then type in I mean paste in the code if you remember the code you can go ahead and type it out so now you learn two methods on how you can um, incorporate different colors other than the default colors in Notion. Uh, so this way you can use multiple different colors according to your needs and it's just simple and uh, fast. And the other website that I really like to use is um, Adobe Color. It's free of course. You can play around with the colors. You can use multiple colors also has a color palette which makes it even more easier if you want to make your uh, you know paragraph or your page cohesive and come together if you know uh, yeah so that is it I hope you learned something from this video and I will leave all the color names in the description so make sure to check that out